50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record, reports documented, a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base. Nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. The globalists have controlled the mainstream media for a long time, but now they're expanding, making the weaponization even more vicious and deceptive. All the major networks are state-run. We are partnering this year with the NFL. The NFL has become a political weapon against the Second Amendment and pushes Obamacare. MSNBC tells us that our children belong to the state. We have to break through our kind of private idea that kids belong to their parents or kids belong to their families and recognize that kids belong to whole communities. It is more important than ever to realize that we are not the alternative media. We are the true media. The establishment dinosaur press is dying. We are in an information war, and we are losing that war. Join us at InfoWarsNews.com and PrisonPlanet.tv. Members can share their memberships with up to 11 people. By subscribing, you will literally be buying war bonds in the InfoWar to expand our operation in the face of the tyrants. Join us at PrisonPlanet.tv. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. All right, it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Crashing through the lies and disinformation, it's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. We're going to do a video report on this sometime next week. My friend has all the documentation. He bought a $3,000 used 1993 Chevy pickup truck. And he went in to get the license and registration. And they said, uh, your truck is worth $18,000. And he said, no, it's listed at about $3,000 in the Kelly Blue Book, and that's what I paid for it. I need something to haul stuff around. It's a junky old truck, but, you know, runs okay. And they said, no, you owe us, you know, $6,000. We've got all the documentation. We're going to show that. He said five or 6000 So he just went to a DPS office uh, in Houston, and they said, uh, yeah, this is worth $3,000, and you owe us 400 bucks." But still, he didn't even really own his truck. License, registration, all this stuff. That didn't used to happen on your transportation, on your horse and buggy. Travel is not a privilege. It's a right. But they've lied to you now, and people think it's a privilege because the cops say so. It's a privilege to engage in commerce on publicly paid for roads and to uh, have an 18-wheeler. That's how it all started in the 20s was they had heavier trucks traveling, and they argued to the public, oh, they're tearing up the roads. You're having to pay for it. Let's make them get license and registration because they're in commerce. And the states were able to constitutionally do that. Now you're in commerce. See, the governor of Nevada has now come out and said this is intimidation. The Fed should back off and that he does have the grazing rights and the water rights. Folks, let me explain how big this is. 
when you have the surface rights and the feds come along when they're there 140 years ago and the feds come along 140 years later and say, well, we just say this is all federal land out here because nobody ever officially got it because nobody wanted it. You have the grazing rights since 1877. We're just not going to let you do it or you can pay us a bunch of money. And this is all about Agenda 21 on record. Get the book. We sell it behind the green mask or my film Endgame at InfoWarsStore.com. Give it to people so, and then it supports the broadcast. We can have our reporters go out and cover things like this. It's very expensive to do this. And give it to all your county commissioners, your city council, so they understand most of them are not criminals. They just are ignorant. And they think, wow, the feds have arrived. We've all got to kiss their butt. Just 10 years ago, the feds still got permission when they came into a town or city. Now they don't even do that. Now they're ordering everyone around. I've covered Bilderberg, sitting there with a microphone, peacefully sitting there, and Hillary and Obama come into the deal before they was even elected, and they got points an MP5 heckler machine gun at me because he had an earpiece and a tie, and he thinks he's a secret agent and a movie star. He's a narcissistic mental patient, secret service agent, wanting to intimidate a bunch of reporters standing there showing where Obama was at. When the media was saying, where's Obama? No one knows. We knew we were there. They were making the deal that she would step down. He would be president. We're the real media, folks. We went out and covered this. We covered this over a week and a half ago. Drudge covered it in the, in the big, powerful alternative media, and now it's everywhere. And I'm not saying, oh, look, we covered and broke this story because locals broke it. The point is, is that it's all happening to us, and we need to show we're the real media. We're the people's media. Mainstream media is saying, you know, Bundy claims he crazily owns this land that's federal. He didn't eat nuts. Knowing people who aren't ranchers don't know about this. Don't know that 80-something percent of the West is federal. Don't know 90 percent of Nevada is federal. Don't know they just power grabbed it and said, well, we administer it now, but you can still have your grazing rights. So I want to go back to his son to give him the floor. Uh, Amon Bundy, uh, who was tasered, and, we, and he's going to show us the wounds from that. And I've seen the video on the local news, the blood pouring out. But when they tasered him, folks ripped the taser out. Um, he was just telling the story of one of the young locals that's gone down to the river. Uh, when you're out in the desert, that's where everybody hangs out. Uh, on the BLM, quote, land, 90% of the state, they're outside the town, 600,000 acres, and here came the feds racing down to attack him. And they almost had a confrontation. And that's what's going to happen, folks. They're going to beat up a kid. They're going to beat up a woman. They're going to shoot a kid in the back. And I'm telling you, all hell's going to break loose. And I don't want that to happen. We're beating the globalists right now politically. We are hurting them on every front. They want to get a physical confrontation going. They've got the billions of rounds of ammo, the armored vehicles, all of it. They're going to lose that civil war in the first wave. But then they're going to bring in the UN troops after. And by the way, folks, I'm not kidding. This is official State Department plan, 7277. This is NLE 09 and NLE 14 that we got that was secret, where it talks about using foreign troops against Americans. This is all real. Now, I want to go back to um, David Knight to finish talking to um, one of the ranchers who's uh, been physically attacked. And I guess it was his other brother, what was it, that got arrested for no reason and his head slammed on the ground and taken to Las Vegas. Break down, sir, finish up your story about uh, obviously Cal's dying or what was in the back of the dump truck and uh, the over 250 armed people. I mean, get him to go over all of it, David Knight, and then I want you, David, to break down your take on all this. Uh, David Knight. Alex, uh, we're here with Ammon Bundy, and he's the son of Clive and Bundy, and he was just telling us before the break that they were concerned about this convoy they saw because they had seen a lot of cows that were obviously had been separated from their calves. This is calving season. They're concerned that they're running these calves hard. They're running the cows hard. They're afraid that they're dying. So they wanted to see what was inside this truck. And that was a, a group of demonstrators. Let me show you first his, uh, where he was tasered right here on his neck. And he were also tasered elsewhere, right? I was tasered uh, on my arm and then they hit my chest and my stomach. And you so tore it out. Yeah, either I tore it out or the, the some other uh, people that were with me tore them out. As, as they were shooting them, they'd tear them out. And well, well tell, tell us what <laughs> led up to this, and we want to talk about 
because this is a real key thing. This is uh, the key point about this is about their water rights. And that was what this ultimately turned out to be about. But tell us about the incident leading up to that. All right. So they're coming down. There was uh, 14 units. They were protecting this backhoe and this dump truck. And uh, we stopped the, the convoy in the intent to see what was in the back of that, that dump truck. And they, um, they immediately came out armed uh, and 13 units uh, with two men and dogs uh, wow. each, at least two men and dogs, fully armed, came out and uh, began to resist us from being able to see what was in the back of that truck. Um, and it got quite heated. It was, you know, pretty much just verbal for a while. And then one of the rangers came up behind a 59-year-old woman and body slammed her. Uh, and after that, it literally um, exploded into, you know, uh, escalated tremendously. Slammed, slammed her into the ground. Yeah, from behind. There's, you watch the video. It's from behind. Yeah. And uh, then there was a, um, you know, continued confrontation forward. And then they, they, uh, they started to tase me. They hit me, and we, I ripped the first ones off, or actually, it was a combination. There were several people who ripped them off, and then they uh, tased, tased me again, and we ripped them off again. Then they tased me again, and we ripped them off again. And uh, uh, anyway, it got, it got to the point where we pretty much were backing them down. They were trying to stick their dogs on us, and we were— About how many people did you have? We had about 50 people. And there was about probably 30, around 30 of them. Well, armed. Uh, yeah, fully armed. And uh, basically kept pressing that they needed to get in their truck. They needed to get out of here. And we were able to push them far enough that we did get a, a look in the back of the truck. And uh, finally pushed them out of there and, and made them leave. What did you learn when you looked in the truck? Well, we thought that possibly going to be a rendering truck. They're going to have animals in there, but we did not find that. What we found was that there was they're destroying all the the water pipes and all the water tanks that are throughout this uh, land that have been here over a hundred years. Destroying the infrastructure. Right. Sorry, sorry, Alex. They're destroying the infrastructure just like Stalin did in Poland and Ukraine. This is classic, classic war against our infrastructure. NAFTA, GATT, all of it uh, is to shut us down. Uh, it was reported yesterday by the L.A. Times, ranchers are shutting down nationwide. Beef prices are the highest ever recorded. Almost all the ranchers I know are, are, have been shut down, even though beef prices are the highest ever because of Big Agra having a bottleneck on the production uh, of the meat packing. And so I want people to understand, this is the shutdown of America. This is Cloward and Piven to bankrupt us we're seeing right now. If you want welfare, you want to come here and have your babies for free, taxpayers will pay for it. Uh, if you want to come here and vote to take uh, our guns, you can come into the country. But if, you, if you've if you got the land and the water tanks and the water pipes for 100 years, where the windmills, uh, you know, where, where this gentleman's great-great-granddaddy set it up, you're not allowed to do that. It will be destroyed by the criminals. Go ahead. Back to David Knight. I want Knight. Ammon to talk a little bit about those water rights because those water rights, Yes, I want to, Ammon to talk a little bit about those water rights because those water rights are very much like your property rights. You register your property rights at the county state level. It's not at the federal level. And they can come in. If we're going to allow this to happen to these ranchers, they're going to do that to us individually. Talk a little bit about the water rights and what, what they try to do there because they are destroying infrastructure, not only for you, but for the wildlife that's out here, right? That's correct. So those water rights um, were either purchased or, or inherited from and originally came from homesteading. Okay, and they're throughout this land here, and we have done improvements over the last hundred years and piped those lines down all through this country with, with uh, tanks and pipes, and and uh, the wildlife and the cattle have used that water for a hundred hundred plus years. Um, they're tearing those out now. Uh, the reason they're doing that is because that is the one thing that ties those rights to this land. See, the grazing rights are also tied to the water. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Uh, if they have any, uh, if we have any legal right besides just state taking over its sovereignty, which obviously we want to happen, but it's tied to those waters. And they know that. And that's why when they're tearing these out and they're coming down, that's why one dump truck and a backhoe 
has 13 armed vehicles on it because they did not want us to see what was in the back of that because they are destroying those waters. Now They know where the cr critical points are to take our rights, to take our property. Absolutely. It must be. Why in the world would they have 13?